How to make a custom tray for a final impression. You need cast of your patient, a Bard Parker knife, base plate wax, Vaseline, air barrier coating, Bunsen burner, Neo motor, furs, triad, white custom tray material, and tin foil. The first step is to take the Vaseline and apply it to the cast. You can use your fingers or a brush, apply it to the entire cast. Ideally, you don't want this to be your diagnostic cast, you want it to be a duplicate in case it breaks. The next step is to take the base plate wax and heat it. You can use a flame or hot water. Sometimes it's easier to use hot water, but a flame works too. This is going to make room for the impression material. If you were making a mandibular tray, you would leave room for tongue space. Okay, so we have two layers of base plate wax. We will have two layers of base plate wax. Here we have two layers. Next we're going to add tin foil and Vaseline and then the tray material. Now we're adding Vaseline to the tin foil so that the custom tray material doesn't stick to the tin foil. Now we are making the tray stops on the non-functional cusps. Since this is a maxillary tray, they will go on the buckle cusps. You want to be able to see the cast through the tray stop. Now add some custom tray material into the tray stops. Work quickly because it sets with the light. Now place white custom tray material over the foil, stretch it over the cast and trim it so that it fits the dimension of the cast. Take a piece of excess and mold it into a handle. Push the handle onto the tray so that it becomes continuous with the tray. Use a small wooden stick from dispensing to prop the tray up while it cures. Now we are ready to cook it. Test the oven to make sure the light goes on and the table spins. Then we are going to cook the tray for two minutes.
We're going to flip the tray and coat the intaglio surface with air barrier coating. Use gloves for this part because it's sticky. Now we're going to cook it for another two minutes, tissue side up. Now that that's finished, wash it with soap and water. Before we trim, we're going to check and see how it fits. If it fits good, it's not rocking because of the tray stops. To trim it, we're going to use the Mio motor. Any burr will work. You want to trim right around the edges and make it smooth so it doesn't irritate your patient's tissues. So now we have the tray finished, the sides are smooth, and we made room for the frenum. It fits the cast nicely and doesn't rock. 